So let's take a look here at intrinsic functions for cloud formation. And what these do is allow you to assign values to properties that are not available uh, until runtime. And the two most popular ones are all the way at the bottom there, and that is uh, reference and get attribute. And these are so important that we're going to cover them uh, shortly here in, a, in uh, other slides, but let's just talk about them quickly here. So reference is going to return the value of a specified parameter or resource, and get attribute will return the value of an attribute from a resource in the template. That doesn't make sense right now. Don't worry, we're going to cover it uh, here shortly. So let's go to the top of the list and just see what kind of stuff that we can do with intrinsic functions. The first one is base64. So this returns the base64 representation of the input string. Uh, there's just some cases where you need them to be base64. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I've definitely had to use this before. Um, but yeah, there's cases for that. Um, then you have CIDR. So CIDR, it returns an array of CIDR address blocks. When you're working with VPC resources, it needs to be in the CIDR format. Uh, so that's when you'll be using uh, that function. Then you have condition functions. And so here we have n equals if not and or. So this is going to allow us to have a bit more uh, logic within our CloudFormation template. So if you want to uh, add that kind of stuff, that's what you got there. Then you have find and map. Find and map is used with the mapping section. So whenever you're doing a mappings, you're going to definitely be using find, find and map. And as the name implies, it's trying to find a corresponding value to a key. Um, so that's what that is for. Then you have transform. Transform is super interesting uh, and it's used with SAM. So the serverless application model, which we definitely cover in another section, actually right after CloudFormation, that's what we look into next here. Um, and what it does is it performs a macro on part of the stack on uh, CloudFormation. So what it essentially does is changes the logic of how you can actually write CloudFormation templates, giving you access or extending the ability of CloudFormation uh, to do things that it couldn't do before. Then you have get AZs. This is going to return a list of availability zones for a specified region. Then you have import value. This is really important when you're working with nested stacks. So this returns the value of an output exported by another stack. So it's kind of a way to have stacks talk to each other. Then you have join. So uh, if you have an array and you want to turn it into a string where they're delimited by comma, you'd use join. Then you have select. So let's say you have an array and you want to select uh, 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 some, uh, an object out of that list by providing its index, you'd use select. Then you have split. Split is the opposite of join. So you have a string that might be delimited by commas and you want to turn that back into array, you'd use that. And you have substitute. This is where you can substitute a variable in an input string with another value. So generally, you know, replacing a part of a string. Um, and uh, those are our intrinsic functions.